all right wonderful people lovers of freedom good morning good afternoon good evening to each and every one of you welcome back to let's talk tv your one and only youtube platform where they giving a back-to-back -back update on how things they be or how things they share for biafra land and beyond if you're joining us for the first time remember to subscribe and turn on your notifications too also remember to like and share this broadcast too all right my wonderful people the latest one with the bus rains at the moment, yes, we say yes. Ijele, <laughs> Ijele, they at <laughs> Ijele with the prison, they in commotion at the moment. As uh, it is being said that he has collapsed a whole lot of times in prison custody and begs a uh, buko ubi akuzayon as he repents. Yes, my people, uh, you don't reach the extent where Ijele don't they collect photo photo back to back to back uh, as in the prison. My people, you know, say this type of person, you do not. Uh, until the person don't see Shege, he no go understand what he don't do for himself. And my people, that is the that is the situation he has put himself at the moment. That is the situation this particular man is jealous. Don't go put himself for wala. And uh, he is going to see the full fledged way that things are being done because this particular man he don't they mess up ever since. In fact, in fact, I would say that he has been consistently messing up, and other things are catching up to him. He's uh, having issues with everything at this point. And uh, that is why things are actually going wrong for him on every ground. The most important thing that you'd want to find out in the moment is that this particular man is a man that uh, is not even one way or another. He has not, nothing he has done has ever been actually true or good because uh, he has actually uh, been bad. He has he has done everything against the Biafra movement. He has he has he has been against it. He has tried to fight against it. He has done so many things that you would think of and be like, why is this guy behaving this way? Why? What is the reason for this situation? Just feels he would just wake up and talk to the PM BRGIE. Anyhow, because that is what he does continuously. But uh, he feels woefully each time he keeps on feeling and. Uh, more time that we can even count this man has uh, misbehaved consistently and uh, that is why he's in the situation he is and at this particular point he has met his waterloo and uh, this is what happens to anybody anybody at all that decides to that decides to face or decides to go against anything the the the, the biafra movement is working towards that is the truth of the matter this movement is not for kids, it's not for jokes, it's not for people that are not uh, interested in it. It's not for anybody to wake up and uh, talk anyhow about it. You will feel the consequence of every single thing you're doing because you are not doing it right. Any single thing you're doing means that uh, the fact and everything that flows with it is just wrong. That is the truth of the matter because I do not see a reason why this particular man we're talking about at this point is would wake up and think he can challenge anybody he feels like just because he has the mouth or he has the audience that is what he feels like every single day and now he has uh, still facing the judgment that he that befits him and now he's calling for help begging and asking and pleading for help looking for who will bail him out or who will seek him out none of that is going to work out because that that place is and it's a place he's meant to be the information we are getting is that he's suffering very well in that place and that uh, as it is right now he is not uh, he's not someone that is even being looked forward to being released at any point in time he is someone that would still be there and uh, a whole lot of things are going to happen to him uh, he is a man that is gone my people it is good that uh, everybody sees what is happening to him at this point because they should learn from him they should learn from this particular man because a whole lot of things would happen to any other person any other person that would um do things like this another person that would just wake up and feel like they can they can misbehave at any point in time it is it is it is on that level it is um on that real level and the, the truth of the matter is that uh, things like this are things that you would think of and uh, you would not regard at any point in time <laughs> And uh, the truth of the matter is that we are one way or another going to make it. This particular movement is not a joke. It has never been a joke and will forever not be a joke because people's people people put in their best into it. People put in their best to make the everything that you are seeing here work out. And so it will not be trifled by someone that doesn't know half of what to suffer to get here. 
and that is the truth of the matter. We are not a, a bunch of people that don't understand how things work. We do understand how things work. Jagaban that is supposed to have saved them has uh, unsaved them <laughs> because that is what it is at this particular point. Okay, uh, the, the next news that we have right here is that the security operatives discover bodies of six policemen killed by Fulani headsmen, 15 others missing. This is not a joke. The fact that this particular this set of things keep happening and they, they feel that they can get away with it because it is what actually what they think they feel they would be able to like get away with every single thing they do is very outrageous. Now they are suffering for the consequences. They are suffering for the consequences of the things that are happening to them. Uh, he says here yeah, that trouble is brewing in Delta State after the bodies of policemen killed by Fulani headsmen were discovered. A collaborative effort between security forces and local vigilantes resulted in the retrieval of diseased police officers' bodies belonging to the IRT Abuja PMF 51 Ogara and anti kidnapping squad Asaba. So, uh, these are the set of people that their bodies were found recently. In uh, recently, that were killed by Fulani headsmen. And they, they are still keeping these people in their stead. <laughs> they are still keeping this set of people in their stead. And that is why we can never allow them to encroach into our own land. They have already encroached. They have started entering. Uh -huh. But we will not allow them to do that anymore. Because the more they encroach, the more they enter into our land, the more they take over and want to feel that they have something they, they, they need to do in our, in our place. And we will not let them have that. Yes, we can never let them have that. Okay, uh, it continues. The recovered corpses of the officers have been deposited at Mariri Central Hospital Morgue in Ugili. Disclosed a senior security source at the Delta State Police Command, speaking on the condition of anonymity. The recovery operation conducted in Ugili North Local Government Area of Delta State followed extensive search efforts in the forest on both Sunday and Monday. So these people have been missing for some time. On January 24th, 2024, three officers, all inspectors, were dispatched to the Aurora community in Ugili North, Delta State, in response to a distress call made by an individual named Moses Progress. The distress caller alleged an attack by suspected Fulani headsmen leading to the officers' deployment. Tragically, they never returned and with their face shrouded in uncertainty. So they called these people and they sent only three police officers instead of them to send a full squad to go and handle these people. Fulani headsmen normally move in bulk and you send only three people. What do you expect? Of course, they have taken them down. Although the police authorities in Delta State have remained silent about the incident, a group of local vigilante members discovered the bodies of some of the slain officers, the report continued. Operation Hots, belonging to the suspected killer Fulani headsmen, were demolished and six corpses were found in the Agadama bush, while the whereabouts of the 15 others remain unknown. Regarding the discovery, the anonymous security source further elaborated. They spent over three hours at the hospital morgue during the documentation before being attended to at Ugili Central Hospital. Another source, when queried, mentioned no details yet, and I will get back to you as we progress, indicating ongoing investigation into the matter. My people, this is what it is, and this is what uh, things would always end up to be, so far as it concerns the Fulani headsmen being allowed to encroach. Because these Fulani headsmen, they are trouble. They are full-time trouble. And the earlier we get to find out that these people do not have a place with us, and they can never have a place with us in the southeast, I don't care about wherever they are in Abuja or wherever, those people, they can allow them encroach into their land. But in our own land, Abia states, Imo states, Eboin states, Enugu states, and the rest. We are not allowed to let them in. We cannot let them in. If not, we risk losing lives of maybe innocent farmers, innocent people that are around. And that is the reason. We must avoid, 
we must avoid anything that will allow us calm down when we see them encroaching or entering into our land we cannot do that we cannot let them do that and so because of that we'll always be at alert to make sure that they do not encroach into our land to to do things that are not uh, uh, that to do things that would cause mayhem or trouble in our in our society or in our community and yes we've come to the end of this particular broadcast thank you for joining us remember to subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications too. Thank you.